We are going to talk about letting go of mistakes. Kind of feels like the hardest thing ever, right? Those dang annoying son of a gun mistakes. They ruin everything. One mistake turns into two, then to three, then it ruins your whole life and you wanna crawl in a hole and just never come out. <laughs> So top five question that I get from girl athletes is how do I not let mistakes affect the rest of my game? And before I give you the answer, I'm going to go, I'm going to tell you a little story that's really good or actually it might be a little bad. So honestly, it's really hard for me to remember specific items um, and specific times that I struggled to let go of a mistake, mostly because there are just too many of them. I remember it going down like this though, okay? So I would make a mistake, uh, let's say that this was just one strikeout. And in that at bat, I would get, probably I was probably getting pissed at the umpire for making some bad calls, which probably weren't even bad calls. I uh, took extra hard practice swings because I was angry and you basically get the point there. I would strike out and then I would start making that like walk of shame back to the dugout and as I passed my teammates who were also were going up to there at bat, I gave her a limp high five, like super encouraging, right? Um, I would start storming into the dugout like a friggin' tornado and I would be throwing my like crap everywhere. Batting gloves, um, bat up against the fence, pretty sure it wasn't standing straight anymore, um, slammed my helmet down, like the whole shebang, you guys. And then, and like you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, like there's more, it's not over. Yeah, there is more. I pouted on the bench, I didn't stop thinking about how bad I was. I went out on defense with a poor attitude and then I felt miserable. And to add to that, I probably made more mistakes. Shocker, right? So until I met mistake freedom, that's what I'm calling it, I, I mean, which all that means is that I was working on my mindset. I had a different approach to the game. I was like practicing self-love and giving myself grace, like all of it. Um, this is, this is what happened in my life until I started doing that. And here is the answer to how to get past those mistakes, because I want you guys to be able to get past those. So, <coughs> excuse me, I call it frustra the frustration routine. And I like literally just helped a girl create a routine, a specific one for her. Um, so step one. Get aware of when you are acting like a freaking crazy person after a mistake and like call yourself out. Like start to take accountability for it. Step two is take a mini break and take a step back for a second or a minute, whatever you need. Sometimes like you can only take a second. Sometimes you can take longer than that. Step three is to take a deep breath. I say, or five or 10, like whatever you need, take some deep breaths. If you have time for one, take one. Get yourself like refocused, calm down, relaxed. Step four is to get clarity and reflect. And those reflection questions to yourself are gonna be, okay, what did I do well? What did I not do so well? Which is the easy one. And how do I grow and move forward? And what I mean by that is like, have a, like, talk like to yourself like talk through having a game plan having some constructive and positive feedback something that you can focus on rather than dwelling on the mistake okay like move forward quickly step five visualize yourself doing exactly what you want that's it use this routine after your mistakes and if it doesn't work the first time don't give up like keep going keep practicing it this is going to be a game changer for you um, and if you need more help with this, we do exactly this in the Confident Athlete Program and more, like so much more. I'm helping girls be the best and most confident versions of themselves. And even better, the Confident Athlete is open for enrollment right now. So it is halfway full. So make sure that you don't wait any longer to apply to get in there because 
this is the kind of work that we do. We are becoming more confident and we are taking action and keeping each other accountable and it is just like amazingness. So keep on keeping on and I'll see you soon.